abortion activists, they're at it again. They've got their sights now set on the state of South Dakota, deceptively pushing what's called Amendment G. It's a revision to the state's constitution that will allow abortion up until birth while removing health and safety measures for women. Uh, this is uh, so outrageous, even Planned Parenthood, to this point at least, has not gotten on board. Joining me now to explain the deceptive practices behind Amendment G and what it will mean for South Dakota is Caroline Wood. She's a spokesperson uh, person for Life Defense Fund. Caroline, welcome to Washington Watch. It's an honor to have you. Thanks for having me, Jody. All right, so just tell us uh, about Amendment G. Uh, what is this thing all about? Yes, it's a radical abortion up to birth, as you just said, amendment that's going on our election this November 5th. It is very radical and it does four specific things. Number one, it allows abortion up to all nine months. Number two, you as a parent have no right to know whether your daughter is coerced, forced into an abortion. That right is completely gone. Number three, if you're a doctor or a nurse, you have no conscious protections with this. If you, if the state says, hey, you have to have an abortion or give one, you no longer have to, or you no longer get to have any protections, which is terrible. And number three, um, it, is, it is horrendous that all health and safety protections, you don't have to have an abortion in a clean and safe environment. There's no inspections. There's no, uh, you don't have to be a doctor to do this. So this is a very radical amendment. And it's something that we in South Dakota are not on board with. Well, it's radical and it's dangerous. I, and it just strips away rights that, frankly, are guaranteed in our constitution. Where in the world did this come from? What, what is the, the, the force behind it, the momentum behind it? How did this even get to be uh, offered as a constitutional amendment? Yes. Well, a group called the Cotons for Health, which is the furthest thing from health or safety, might I add, they ended up actually cheating and lying their way to getting enough petition signatures from South Dakotans to put this on the ballot. Now, let me explain what they actually did to get those petitions, and I'll give you a few examples. In South Dakota, election law says you have to have a circulator handout when you're asking for these petitions. They had none. They have You cannot leave a ballot unattended, um, or sorry, a petition unattended. They did not do that. They lied and said it was a grocery tax or it was a pro-life measure, and people signed it. They said, oh, this is going to restore Roe v. Wade, you know, back to the 22 weeks that we had here beforehand. It does not do that. It does much more. So there's story after story, and actually I just talked to someone yesterday who said, oh, I would have never signed this if I would have known it actually does way more than restore v. Wade, Roe v. Wade. Another pastor said, oh, I would have never signed that if I would have known that this is actually a anti um woman, children petition. And so you get stories like this all across the state where these radical uh, Dakotans for Health group paid circulators from a lot of them out of state putting this on the ballot. And so we act actually at Life Defense Fund, you can go there at lifedefensefund.com, are fighting this in the courts as well right now. So is there any recourse for these citizens who were lied to, who were deceived into signing a petition that is not what they thought it was when they signed it? Or is it just now that their name is on it, it is what it is? Yeah, unfortunately, right now, actually, uh, the, the legislator actually passed a, a bill here that said you can actually take your name off if you know you were deceived and lied to. However, at this point, it's already going onto the ballot here soon, but we're at Life Defense Fund are fighting in the court saying this amendment should not actually be on the ballot, and if it is on the ballot, we are asking the court, because they have lied and deceived to get those signatures, that they would not count th this measure um, on the ballot at all. Yeah, what a horrifying precedent this sets mm -hmm. if it is allowed to move forward. I assess the, president, uh, the precedent that anyone can lie on an amendment, just gather a bunch of signatures, saying this is all about wishing your grandma a happy birthday amendment. Uh, petition, sign this petition where it may be horrible. I mean, this is a, a very dangerous mm. path to go down if this petition is allowed to stand, wouldn't you say? Yes. And I would say two things, Jody. Number one, Americans, there's 73% of them who said, 
we do not actually want abortion after even 15 weeks. And so even the majority of Americans think this is too radical and too far. South Dakotans think this is radical and too far. And they've been lied and deceived. Now, I also want to mention that if this goes in our state constitution, if it passes, let's say November, this means that we can't just go back and tweak things or make it a little a, a, a little better. We can't tweak anything. We can't say, okay, let's add at least protections for women and for children. Let's add some conscious protections for nurses and doctors. We can't even do that. We'd actually have to go back through this entire process to even get this thing annulled altogether. It is a horrible, radical, awful abortion up to birth amendment that we just cannot see in our state. And we're fighting very hard to make sure everyone knows the truth. They get out there to vote November 5th. They donate to Life Defense Fund because we need all the ammunition we can get to stop this thing because it's far too radical and it puts women and babies in danger. And let me just add one more thing. Babies can feel pain up to, you know, early as 12 weeks, if not sooner. So this is something that's horrifyingly painful for children, and not only children, but women who go through this. Now, even under this, um, I was pregnant with my son, and I could have easily, under this uh, petition slash a ballot measure, could have easily justified an abortion uh, just based off of what this petition has in here. So this is a not good measure. It's something that we do not want in South Dakota. It does not represent our values and is against life and protections for mothers. Okay, so how back to the amendment is, itself, how does Amendment G repeal health and safety standards? Yeah, so it, a, a couple things. So health and safety standards for women. You don't have to be a doctor or a licensed medical practitioner to even give an abortion, which means really anyone can give an abortion, which is horrifying. Um, number two, we have people here have inspections to make sure our facility is clean, it's up to standards, that rids all of those protections and those standards that we have here in South Dakota. So that means all of those things would go away and there's no accountability here for women's safety or protection while getting an abortion. Wow, so how can viewers and listeners help? Uh, you help the cause and uh, come on board to help South Dakota. Yes, I would just say, please go to lifedefensefund.com and fight the fight with us. Please donate. Please give your time. Please spread the word. We need all the help we can get because this is such a radical amendment, such a radical measure that we've seen passed in states like Ohio and Kansas. And we don't want to be one of those states. And we have a very good chance here of winning, but we need Americans to step in and to help. We need South Dakotans to vote the right way. We need people to know the truth of how this even got on there and how we can, what we can do and how we can fight against this. So thank you so much. Carolina Woods from Life Defense Fund, thank you so much for joining us today on Washington Watch, and thank you for standing in the gap for all of us. We appreciate it. Keep the torch ablaze, and we'll certainly keep a pulse on what's happening there as well.